In this video, we're going to import a fresh default Drupal installation into Acquia Dev Desktop. Now this can be useful as a reliable starting point for some of the other video series where we use default Drupal as the basis for the examples, but we're also going to use this Drupal installation folder for the PHP script examples in the rest of the series. To begin with, go ahead and navigate to drupal.org slash project slash Drupal in your browser, scroll down, and we're going to download the latest version of Drupal 7. Right now it's 7.12. I'm going to go ahead and download the zip file. When it's done downloading, I'm going to go ahead and navigate to my file explorer, and I'm going to open up the zip file to expand it. And now we're going to copy this folder into a location where we want to have our examples for the rest of this series. So you may just want to put it somewhere that's easy to remember. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my learn PHP folder. And next we need to import it into Acquia Dev Desktop. So I'm going to jump to the control panel and I'm going to click on settings. Up here in the tabs, we want to click on the sites tab and then we want to click on import. Go ahead and click on browse to select the location. Notice that we're selecting the folder here and click open. We're going to go ahead and leave subsite as default. For the database, we don't have one already, so we're going to create a new one. I'm going to go ahead and select this. Let's select a new database name. You can name this whatever you'd like, but I'm going to call it learnphp underscore Drupal. We can go ahead and leave the server as localhost. For subdomain, let's go ahead and type learnphp. Now you can see the full URL here that we would go to in order to navigate to this new site. URL path is the subfolder within this site that we would want to install this. So for example, if we type Drupal, we'd see this Drupal at the end of the URL. Because we already have a subdomain, let's go ahead and leave this blank and click import. When you click import, it will begin the installation process for Drupal. Let's go ahead and leave this checked at standard and click save and continue. We'll leave this as English and click save and continue and it will take just a minute to install all of the modules. Let's go ahead and fill out this basic information about the site. All I'm doing here is adding an email address, a username, and a password, and then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and leave all of the settings as their defaults and click save and continue. When you're done, you can click visit your new site, and here you have a default Drupal site running on Acquia Dev Desktop. Now again, we're not using this site for this particular series, but if you would prefer to use Acquia Dev Desktop, you can use it now on any of the other video series on buildamodule.com.